I think it turned out really, really good. I think it looks good with like a t-shirt. I think it looks good in a tank top. The detail is absolutely insane in my opinion for just a solid two hours of work. Kind of wraps around a little bit. It looks really, really cool with a watch. I'll toss a picture up right now just to kind of show it. It kind of looks like the wing is coming out of the watch. Super happy with the first tattoo. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Now today is going to be something a little bit different. This isn't a tech video or unboxing. This is going to be a video talking about my first ever tattoo, which you guys might have noticed in recent videos, this giant piece of ink that's been sitting on my arm. So today we're going to be talking about a few different tattoo related things, which would be cost, the amount of time it takes, the pain levels, recovery time, just a whole bunch of different topics when it comes to your first ever tattoo. Okay, so first let's talk about the time that it took. So as you guys can see, this wing tattoo, it's pretty detailed. It looks like it probably took a long time time. The artist that I chose works really, really fast and he's really, really sought after. He's one of the best artists in my city, in my opinion. A lot of people really like to go to him because he's really fast. He does really, really good work. And that's why I chose him because I didn't want to sit in the chair that long, but I still wanted really, really good quality art. So believe it or not, this giant tattoo here only took two hours. That includes two washroom breaks as well, which is absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. But yeah, two hours. Most other places, I would say you are probably looking at about five to six hours depending on the artist of course but luckily mine was very very quick so I didn't really have to sit in the chair that long because once again this was my first ever tattoo and I was kind of you know scared about sitting in the chair for a long amount of time now the price for the tattoo I personally was expecting to pay maybe like seven upwards of eight hundred dollars but it actually only cost me four hundred and fifty and fifty dollars of that is actually from a tip so it actually only costs 400 which in my opinion is a pretty solid price because that is like a pretty big tattoo so I was expecting to pay more which I ended up paying almost half of what I was anticipating to pay so that was really really good now let's talk about pain levels because I know a lot of people when they're getting or planning out their first tattoo they're really really worried about the pain and I gotta say I was anticipating the absolute worst from all the stories and different things that I read like I was prepared to pass out to cry but it actually was wasn't that bad like yes it hurt in some spots but for my forearm specifically it only hurt really like right here where your bone is and then also on the wrist there because especially with shading they're basically rubbing back and forth and right on my wrist there didn't feel too great other than that it wasn't too bad a lot of people say it feels like a bee sting or like a cat scratch and to an extent I do agree with that it kind of feels like a really really hard scratch but just like continuous this is gonna sound real dark but it almost feels like someone's like literally cutting you and just like dragging it. That sounds like super, super dark, but it's honestly what it feels like. It feels like a cat is just like scratching you, just, you know, in straight lines. And that would be like the outline of the tattoo. And then when they actually do the shading, it feels like the cat is just going crazy and just clawing at you like a madman. The outlining isn't bad because what they're doing is basically just tracing the drawing of the sticker that they're putting on you. It's the shading that really gets you because they're basically just rubbing back and forth on your skin. So that's what it feels like. Not the best, but not like the worst thing ever. Now, for the meaning behind this tattoo, I'm pulling up my Instagram picture right here because I kind of broke it down. So basically what a wing stands for is like freedom. So with that word freedom, I have like three separate things that kind of go with the meaning of the tattoo and the wing. So the first one here in the Instagram post I was writing about is like the freedom to choose to be myself, to make decisions that I want instead of catering to others. I used to never pursue the things I wanted in life because I was afraid of what others would think, but allowing myself to choose is what will always allow me to be happy as an individual. So freedom of choice, because I was always like, you know, one directional. I was like, everyone else is doing this or people like this or people people think highly of this specific thing that's the thing that I would choose I would never actually choose like the things that I liked and wanted to do in life for example I was in school for something that I really did not care about but I felt like I had to because everyone else was going to that school and I felt like I had to be in the program that I was in as well because a lot of people were kind of like pressuring me to they're like oh you like sports like go in kinesiology but that's not what I really wanted to do so freedom of choice is a huge huge meaning for this tattoo here the second is freedom that I have through my religion. Now, I don't really talk about this a lot on the channel because it is like a tech channel, not like a religious channel. But 
But the religion that I follow is Christianity, so having freedom through that religion really signifies with the tattoo as well. And the last one is freedom to be myself. It kind of ties into the first reason a little bit with the ability to choose. But in my opinion, it's not just enough to have that freedom of choice. You have to have the freedom to be yourself at the same time. And that's what the third point is talking about in this post. I wrote in the post that I basically was trying to fit in and be like someone that I wasn't and not doing the things I wanted to do and not acting the way that I wanted to act. So freedom to, so freedom to be my absolute true self is the third big reason of why I chose this wing to represent freedom. All right, now let's talk about recovery time. Now, as you know, this is basically an open wound once you actually get a tattoo. You just stab your skin for multiple hours on end, so you definitely need recovery time. So me, I had a clear bandage actually on my arm for about three to five days. After that, I had to wash it two times a day, so I chose in the morning and at night before bed. You also have to moisturize a ton because once the tattoo has been on you for a few days, it starts to kind of like flake and peel, and keeping it moisturized really helps it heal correctly because if you don't, then it could really mess up the tattoo. So I was putting moisturizer on my arm probably maybe like three, four times a day, and I had that routine of washing and using moisturizer for about two and a half to three weeks and then it was pretty much fully healed like no more flaking peeling no more pain or anything like that something that was kind of cool though with the peeling was it actually peels in the kind of like design of your tattoo so i had like feathers peeling off of my arm which was like really really weird but also cool at the same time so yeah that's pretty much it for my first tattoo guys it signifies freedom it's a giant wing on my forearm i think it looks really really cool and the detail is absolutely amazing for just two hours of work i I am going for a full half sleeve so in two months I actually have my next appointment booked for November 18th. I don't want to spoil what I'm getting because I do want it to be a surprise on the channel but it does follow the wildlife theme which I think is going to turn out really really good when it's all said and done but for now this is my first ever tattoo. I'm planning on getting a half sleeve and that's it. I don't want to have like ink everywhere. I just wanted one specific spot and I chose my forearm. I was actually inspired by my favorite bodybuilder Chris Bumstead, he actually has a half sleeve as well. I think it looks good in pretty much any setting, whether it's like formal or at the gym. It's got a lot of meaning behind it and I really, really like it. But he is the one who inspired me to actually get this tattoo because before I was like, ah, I don't really know about tattoos. I'm not really like a huge fan, don't want a whole bunch. And then now I'm just getting a half sleeve. So <laughs> but yeah, two more months until I finish it all up. I'll be showing it on the channel as well. But thank you guys for watching this video. I know it's not like the usual content, but if you guys did enjoy it make sure you like and subscribe lots of videos to come i hope everyone is staying safe and healthy i hope you guys all have a great rest of your day and i will see you guys in the next video